blood typing and cross matching what are the blood typing and the cross matching if you need the blood transfusion or the transplant your doctor can use the blood typing and the cross matching to learn if your blood is compatible with the donor blood or the organs blood type reveals what type of blood you have this depends on the presence of certain antigen on your red blood cell Antigens are the protein that trigger your immune system to produce the antibody. There are four types of the blood. Type A which contains the type A antigen, type B which contains the type B antigen, type AB which contains the type A and B antigen, and type O which contains the type A and type B antigen. The type O which contains neither type A nor type B antigen. Your blood will also be classified as Rh positive and Rh negative based on the presence or the absence of the particular protein on your RBC known as the rhesus factor. Cross matching, this is a test used to check for the harmful interaction between your blood and the specific donor blood or the organs. It can help your doctor predict how your body will react to those of the donor materials. What are this test used for? Your doctor use the blood typing and cross matching to learn if donor blood or or the organs are compatible with your blood. The incompatible donor blood or the organs can cause a harmful interaction. Your immune system may attack the donor material leading to dangerous and even the fatal reactions. Your doctor may order the blood typing cross matching of both if you are scheduled to receive the blood transfusion or organ transplant. You are scheduled to undergo the medical procedure where you face the risk of the significant blood loss. You have the certain medical conditions such as severe anemia or the bleeding disorder. Your doctor may also order the blood typing if you are pregnant. If your developing fetus has a different blood type than you, it raises the risk of developing a type of anemia called the hemolytic disease. Blood typing This helps your doctor determine what type of a donor blood is compatible with your own. Some blood types contain the antibodies that trigger the immune reaction against the other blood types in general. If you have the type A blood, you should only receive the type A or O blood. If you have a type B blood, you should only receive the type B or O blood. If you have a type AB blood, you can receive type A, B or O blood. An AB blood. If you have a type O blood, you should only receive the type O blood. You have type AB blood, you are known as the universal recipient and if you receive any ABO category of donor blood. If you have a type O blood, you are known as a universal donor as anyone can receive the type O blood. The type O blood is often used in emergency when there isn't enough time to perform the blood typing test. Cross matching, they can also help rebuild if the specific donor blood or the organ are compatible with your own. In addition to anti-B and anti-A antibody, other types of antibodies may be present in your blood that negatively interact with the donor materials. How are this test performed? To perform the blood typing and the cross matching, your doctor will collect a sample of your blood to send the laboratory for testing. Collecting the sample, a trained healthcare practitioner can draw the sample of your blood at your doctor's office, blood bank or other site. They will use a needle to draw the sample from one of your veins, usually on the inside your blood. They will likely start by disinfecting the area with an antiseptic and elastic band will be placed around the upper part of your arm causing your vein to swell up with blood. A needle that they gently inserted into your vein will collect a sample of your blood in a tube. Once they have collected enough blood, the practitioner will remove the needle and unwrap the band from your arm. The puncture site will be cleaned and if needed, they are bandaged. Your blood sample will then be labeled and sent to the laboratory for testing. Lead typing the sample. In the laboratory, a technician can conduct the several tests to type your blood. They will mix some of your blood with commercially prepared anti-A and anti-B antibody if your blood cells agglutinate or clump together. It means your sample has reacted with one of the antibodies. This is called the forward typing. Next, the technician will perform reverse typing. This cells for some of your serum to be mixed with the type A and type B cells. Your sample will then be checked for signs of reaction. Following that, the technician will perform the Rh typing. This is when they mix some of your blood with the antibodies against the Rh factor, signs of any reaction will be noted. Cross matching the sample. To cross match your blood against the donor blood or organs, the technician will mix a sample of your blood mm -hmm. with the sample of 
with the sample of the donor material again they will check for the signs of infection As I said before, the blood tapping the sample in the laboratory, a technician will conduct the several tests to tap your blood. They will mix some of your blood with a commercially prepared anti-A and anti-B antibody if your blood cells are continued or clumped together. Cross-matching the sample to cross-match your blood against the donor blood organs, the technician will mix a sample of your blood with a sample of the donor material. Again, they will check for the signs of reaction. What do the test results mean? Depending on the results of your blood typing, your doctor will classify your blood will be classified as type A, B, A, B, or O. It will be also classified as Rh plus Rh minus. There is no normal or abnormal blood type. The results of your cross matching test will help your doctor assess if it is safe for you to receive the specific donor blood or organ. Commercial antibodies. If your blood cell clump only when mixed with anti A antibody, you have type A. Anti B, you have type B blood. Both anti A and anti B antibody, you have type A B blood. If your blood cells don't clump when mixed with a, either anti A or anti B antibody, you have type O blood. Back typing. If your serum causes clumping only when mixed with type B cells, you have type A blood. Type A cells, you have type B blood. Type A and B cells, you have type O blood. If your serum doesn't cause clumping when mixed with either type A or B cells, you have type AB blood. RH typing, if your blood cells clump when mixed with the anti RH antibody, you have RH plus blood. If they don't clump, you have RH minus blood. Cross matching, if your blood cells clump when mixed with the donor sample, the donor blood or organ is compatible with your blood. What are the risks? Blood draws are generally safe for most people, but they do pose some risk. You may experience some discomfort or pain when the needle is inserted. You may also develop the bleeding, brushing or infection at the puncture site. In most cases, the potential benefits of the blood typing and the cross matching outweigh the risk. Talk to your doctor to learn more about the procedure. They can also help you understand your test results and recommend appropriate follow-up steps. Thank you.